What's going on everyone, my name is Kodamore and welcome back to Electronics Episode 8. In this episode, we are going to finally create our very first circuit. Now you're going to need a few things to follow along with this tutorial and do it yourself. First things first, you are going to need a battery. I'm going to be using a 9 volt battery, but you don't have to. You can use a double A battery, just as long as you know the voltage of it. And usually the battery will tell you what voltage it is right on the side of the packaging. Next, you're also going to need an LED. And you're also going to need a resistor with a proper resistance value for your circuit. Now we learned in the last video how to calculate what value of resistor you would need according to the battery that you are using and according to your LED. So if you haven't done so already, get a battery and note the voltage of it, then grab your LED and go to the previous video and do the calculation to see what value of resistor you're going to need. If for some reason you aren't able to do the calculation because you don't know who made your LED or you don't know the proper voltage of your LED, just use a 1000 ohm resistor or some resistor around 1000 ohms. And that should be plenty to keep your LED safe. In my case, the calculation for a 9 volt battery and my specific LED means I have to have a 240 ohm resistor, but I only have a 270 ohm resistor so that is what I'm going to be using and that is okay because it is above 240 ohms. And finally you might also want to have a metal clip if you have one. If you don't that's fine you can just hold it together with your hands. Alright now let's get started. First things first remember that the longer leg of your LED which is this one for me has to go to the positive terminal of your battery and the shorter leg which is this one for me must go to the negative terminal of your battery. Just remember that. Now you can attach your resistor to your LED on either the positive or the negative lead, or rather the longer or the shorter lead, it doesn't matter which side it goes on. I'm just going to put mine on the longer lead where it should go to the positive voltage of my battery. So I'm going to line them up right here on the lead and because I have a clip I'm just going to clip them together like so. So now the resistor is connected to the longer lead of my LED. Next, get out your battery here and try to note which one is the positive terminal and which one is the negative terminal. For me, as you can see this little plus sign over there, this terminal is the positive terminal of my battery and this terminal over here is the negative terminal of my battery. So that means I attached the resistor to the longer leg of my LED which means the resistor must touch the positive terminal of my battery. And then if we bend everything around a little bit, you can touch the other lead of the LED right to the negative terminal, and as you can see, the LED will light up. That is it. That is your very first circuit that you just created. You lit up an LED. That is awesome. Remember, if you're not sure what type of resistance you're going to need, just use a 1000 ohm resistor or somewhere around there. And that should be plenty for your LED. But either way, we created our very first circuit, and it was really simple, right? Just a resistor, an LED, and a battery. Now, it wasn't as simple as it could be, though. I mean, if we had to build huge projects using just little clips and clipping wires together, everything would be terrible. I mean, this is just hard to do. So we are going to need to find out a new way of prototyping stuff that's easier than clipping wires together. And we'll talk about how to do that and a couple of more tools in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.